What up, what up, what up? This is Star of Stars and First Wisdom. What's good, y'all? I hope you guys are doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning to my channel, what's good? Hope you guys are uh, feeling relaxed. I know it's a quarantine and all. I hope y'all ain't, uh, you know, having cabin fever. But anywho, this is going to be a love reading for the next seven days. I'm doing a little different this week. Basically, it's called What's Up With You and whatever sign. Um, but today it's going to be What's Up With You and a Taurus, a Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. And get your energy, their energy, what's going on between y'all in the next seven days. Um, this is a general message, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. If it resonates, please do like, share, subscribe, comment down below. All right. Um, uh, if you would like a personal reading, hit me up, stars of wisdom at outlook.com. Okay. You can email me there. All right. But anywho, let's get into it. So if you are dealing with a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, I'm going to use this dice to see what this person could be in your life. And again, don't make it fit. All right. If it resonates, you'll know. Um, and also the energy can be fluid. So if I say it's your person, it could be vice versa. Um, because, yeah, I could be picking up their energy. So, you know, get in where you fit in. You know who you are in the star. All right. Oh, damn. All right. Secret enemy. So you could be dealing with a Taurus sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Who is a secret enemy? All right. Let's get a message between you and this individual. This connection is codependent. Y'all know it's time to end this, but afraid to part ways. Familiar spirits. All right, so you could be dealing with a Taurus that you have some that there's some type of toxicity or codependency in the relationship. One of you guys could be more dependent on the other, okay? Or you got or um, one or both of you guys could be dependent on each other's energy, finances, something like that. All right, and I feel like it's time for you guys to um, separate possibly because you guys are familiar spirits here. Yeah, I feel like. Um, Somebody isn't returning to a situation, so you not, might not be returning to a situation. They not, might not be returning to a situation. Um, I feel like until there is some type of stability or someone may not be returning because they want to stabilize themselves. Okay, so that could be you not returning to the situation or allowing them to return because um, you want stability, basically. All right, let's get the energy of this person towards you, what they got going on if you're dealing with a Taurus. All right, yeah, somebody's trapped in their ego, so this person could be trapped in their ego. They could be having some type of power strip or power struggle um, or some type of power trip, which is causing them to not take a um, not take a leap of faith with you or regarding something. Um, yeah, it could be because they are still dealing with someone else. Could be an ex, could be a Leo Aries Sag, all right? Um, or maybe this person is having a power trip because they see that you are ambitious and a risk taker. And um, that could be causing them to have some negative thinking about you or the situation. Um, others of you, I feel like it's an ex that could be, um, it, this could be your ex that you're having a power struggle with. All right. Um, set. Set. I just saw 333 when I said set, um, which is what I see. I think set is Seth. Um, if, if y'all know like Egyptology type stuff or comedic science, who is Seth? 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 I think it's, um, Osiris's brother. I don't know, but that may be in connection to you or this Taurus or something. I don't know, but yeah, let's continue. That was weird. <laughs> All right. How's this person feeling towards you? Um, this person does have a lot of passion for you too. Um, but I feel like this connection has become burdensome because somebody is being overly emotional or manipulative here. All right. Um, psych. Yeah, I feel like somebody could feel like they got tricked or duped. This person could feel like they got duped. Um, they could have got duped by an ex or they could feel like you, you're their ex and they got duped by you. Um, you could be an air sign. You could be younger than this person or you could be older than this person. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I feel like somebody here is, I feel like this person may feel like you're being immature about a situation or, um, again, the energy can be vice versa, but I feel like somebody feels like you're somebody, you could be being immature about them or, um, yeah, I feel like, or they're just, they're feeling 
insecure about um, not feeling appreciated in the connection or something, or you feel like they're immature, something like that, yeah, because um, you won't release some type of heartbreak, all right, so somebody may want you to release heartbreak, but this could have been a burdensome situation between you and them because somebody was being emotionally manipulative, or I feel like somebody's ex was emotionally manipulating them, and that's why there is this power struggle, that's why somebody's trapped in their ego, it could be both of y'all, because somebody is allowing their ex to bring some type of burden and emotional manipulation into a situation, or this Taurus could be your ex, okay? Um, but I feel like this person is definitely feeling overburdened by this situation. And, um, especially if it's somebody saying you take risks and you succeeding in your life, that it could be, um, playing on this person's feelings a little bit. All right. <laughs> yeah. So this person could feel like you betrayed them, like you're not interested in the connection, um, and that's why they're not offering to you or you're not, uh, taking their offer or something. Um, but they want you to release emotional withdrawal. They want you to come back around. Okay. They don't want you to, um, cut them off or something like that. All right. Let's see your energy between, but I feel like it's, it's some co it's codependency. Yeah. Somebody needs to be, um, somebody needs, needs to be committed and determined, um, it needs to show that in a connection, but I feel like this person could be, you know, being a player, all right? Or somebody could be seeing you committed and determined, but um, they didn't put the energy towards you. And I feel like, player, player alert, this person could be trying to play you. Um, because, yeah, they see that you have an abundance or that you um, have some type of new situation, love. All right, so, yeah, so somebody may want to try to rush in. Could be this Torian. But anywho, let's see. How are you feeling towards this person? What you got going on towards this person? This Taurus sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. All right, so it's time for you to release. I feel like you are releasing this situation because uh, you could be clinging on to something that you believe is important, but it is a potential block. So you could either be holding on to this person, this Taurus, or you could be holding on to something between the two of you guys, which is toxic. Yeah, and that's stagnating your energy. 44 could be significant to you guys as well. So you may be still holding on to this Taurus. Or they, you know, you guys are both holding on some, to some type of uh, toxicity from the past that is causing stagnant energy. Yeah, so your uh, energy is stagnant. You feel like this connection is stagnant. And it's because some, you're not releasing something here. You're not, uh, you're not letting go of something here that happened. Um, yeah, you could need to... Uh, I feel like you needed to give more to the situation than you initially anticipated. Um, but you see it as stagnancy. But I feel like it could have been like some type of um, you needed to balance your karma or something like that with this person. Something like that. Alright. You're done with the Taurus. How you feeling? How you feeling? Alright, yeah. So you could be granted a luxurious lifestyle. Okay. Um... But I feel like you feel like this connection with this person is making is uh, causing some type of stagnant energy in your life and you are ready to release it. Yeah, because somebody here could be domineering or destructive or causing some type of destruction and you are granted and you are living like, you know, you live in living your life like it's golden. You live in good. You know, you probably got your own spot, your own place, your own stuff, you know, what I'm saying got your own food to eat, but you feel stagnant because you're holding on to something here from the past. All right. Yeah, because. Uh. Something is destructive. Somebody was hiding a secret, which is causing turmoil. Um, yeah, that they needed to rest from a situation or take a break from a situation or lay something to rest in order to overcome some type of despair. Dealing with family. All right. So that could be um, that could be you dealing with your family. You needed to overcome uh, or your person needed to overcome. OK, but I feel like you could be feeling uh, you could be in a little. um you could be a little domineering right now, a little pissy, okay? Um, but I feel like it's because you are in your head about something here. Maybe you're in your head about um, this person. You feel like this person is codependent on you or something like that. Um, yeah, you could be going within emotionally and retreating from the situation. But be patient and choose wise because you will overcome this okay so it could be a situation where there is some stagnancy obviously it's a lot of stagnant stagnation right now in the world a lot of people can't make no moves a lot of people can't work 
um, so shit ain't coming in, but you could just be clinging to this, all right, or you could be clinging to the fact that this person uh, kept you stagnant for so long, and you like, damn it, I want my 40 acres and a fucking mule, all right, or I got my 40 acres and a mule, and you trying to have me stuck, you know, so... Uh, okay, there. this isn't a collapse to a karmic or toxic connection here, alright? But you need to be patient, because some of you guys could not be uh, being grateful for the security and wealth that you have, which, cause, which could also be uh, stagnating you, alright? So, let's see what you guys have going on. Yeah, I do see you guys reaching success, though. But, yeah, because you're reaching success, um, this Torian may try to come around. Play a play alert, okay? Yeah, um, this person, this they could have something to do with the government. Um, they could be an authority figure. Could be a father. Could be your father. Um, yeah, but somebody, uh, you know, I feel like if you hold on to this, you would be carrying baggage into um, into your future. Yeah. But if you put in the work, all right, so if you put in uh, effort, it will be successful. But there is some stagnation right now because somebody needs to heal from a situation. Someone needs to rest. All right. So um, for some of you guys, I feel like there could be a there could be a Torian um, that is a secret enemy as well as there is some type of toxicity. It doesn't have to necessarily be a person. There's some type of uh, negative entity that's trying to, some type of familiar spirit that is trying to um, keep you stuck and keep you blocking, uh, working towards something uh, that you have coming in for you. <clears throat> Let's see what you guys have coming in in the next seven days. Oh. All right, yeah, so somebody is using magic, all right? Um, it could be this Taurus. Uh, this is not your twin flame. So there is somebody here that could be uh, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, as well as a fire sign. So it could be like a Taurus with a fire in their chart. Leo, Aries, Sag. You drew mustaches on the turtles. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Some of you guys are going to be dropping, uh, need to drop the burdens of this situation or drop the burdens between you and a Taurus sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, or drop the burdens of fighting because, um, I feel like they're either, this isn't your twin flame. Somebody is using magic to, um, possibly make you think your twin is not your twin or somebody who was a imposter twin, which could be this Taurus. Um, they're using magic to cause you to fight and release the situation. So be careful. Yeah, this person uh, could be, um, could think that you're a heartbreaker. Yeah, because they feel like you move towards a good investment. Um, and maybe they feel like they're, you, they're, you guys were involved in some type of alter, altercation, which caused some co confusion. Um, because it may have been, there may have been a water sign male involved that you have a lot of love for, or you have a lot of love for somebody else. But this Taurus uh, person could feel like, um, yeah, somebody's using magic here. This person could feel like you're their twin or something, but they're not. Yeah, and I feel like you made a choice to deny their offer, or you're going to make a choice to deny their offer in the next seven days. In the next seven days, if you're done with the Taurus... Yep, so this soul, this is a soulmate, uh, past life karmic partner for you. So yeah, this is not your twin flame. This is a past life karmic partner. This person has probably been using magic on you, or they are going to be using magic on you again in the next seven days, which is why you could be afraid, all right? You could be afraid of having sex. I don't know. You could be afraid of opening up to someone else. Um, or And I also, I'm also getting that this person wants to have sex with you. But they, um, you would have to juggle between, maybe they have somebody else too. So they want to, I feel like this person could want to sleep with you. But, um, they would still be juggling lovers though. Because they are still holding on to their life partner or something like that. Yeah, lying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a, um, I feel like they still are with somebody. Okay, so you could be afraid in the next seven days here, but let's see what's going on. I feel like it could be because somebody here is um, using magic on you.
Yep. All right. Yeah. So somebody's using magic. Um, this is a deep spiritual bond that you have with this person. Somebody's using magic to make you think that your relationship with someone new needs to be balanced, but I feel like it doesn't. Um, I feel like this person could be making you rethink who your uh, twin flame is. Yeah. So this is not your twin flame. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody could be making you uh, feel like somebody's not your twin flame. It could be a Libra. Um, someone who's an artist, an actor, a singer. All right. Um, yeah, this person could be competing against you. All right. Or they could feel like you're competing against them. You know, let's see. Yep. All right. So watch your temper because uh, there is a karmic partner that it, they could be using magic to cause you to uh, mess up something. Um, I feel like a true pair situation, a true love situation. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like they're a true love situation you could be avoiding because um, you're focused on saving your money. You're focused on your stability. You're focused on money. Definitely. All right, you could be single with your own already, and you like, eh, I don't know about this connection, but I feel like somebody's using magic to make you um, afraid of this new connection. It could be with a Libra. Somebody's trying to make you feel like somebody is not your twin, all right? But for others of you, like if you're a Taurian, a Libra is not your twin. A Libra Squirt is not your twin or something like that. All right, yeah, this is somebody you probably want to have one night stand with or something like that. Or this Taurus wants to have a one night stand with you. Alright, so uh, they may see that you have a deep spiritual bond with someone else. They may be trying to block that by uh, causing you to focus on your money. So they could be trying to like make your money dwindle or something. But I feel like you need to watch your temper, okay, dealing with this uh, past life karmic partner. Yeah, somebody wants a one night stand. You need to follow your intuition about it because you're reaching your success. And this person is trying to um, keep you afraid and making you think that you need to balance your relationship out, okay? So um, maybe they're making you feel like a connection that you are currently in is not working. Uh, yeah, because they see that you're financially stable, all right? Or um, you could be focused on your financial stability. And it's important for you to walk away from drama. Yeah, because somebody's lying. Could be a um, Taurus business male owner, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So this could be this Taurus could own a business. Yeah, this person has a lot of options, a lot of love offers coming in for them. Oh, hold on a second, y'all. All right, yeah. So you could be waiting for this person re to return to you or something like that. You could have been waiting for this person for a while, but I feel like they're not really making no moves. They're just focused on using magic on you or something like that. Um, yeah, but you are good at your job, whatever endeavor you're working on, whatever career you're at. Um, it could be a business. They see that you're uh, succeeding at your business. Yeah, don't allow yourself to be victimized by this person, though. Um, it could be surrounding the Scorpio. All right, so somebody, it could be a Scorpio trying to, uh, a Scorpio outside of the Taurus, um, trying to victimize you or something like that, make you feel bad for going towards your um, passions, your desires, your dreams. Yeah. Um, you could have moved across the water and offered somebody staple love or um, you could have did that in the past or something or in the recent past or you could have moved and got a new offer and somebody is, you know, somebody ain't liking that. Yeah, somebody wants to keep you as an option or something. Yeah, but your hard work, if you put in hard work and effort towards whatever you are working towards, it's going to work out for you. You just got to be smart about it. Okay, you guys could be dealing with the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody, um who is intelligent, they're trying to be intelligent about uh, becoming financially stable, or you are a, a Libra, or um, there's Libra out here, definitely, you could be a Libra or a Gemini Aquarius, Libra specifically though, could be, um, you could be anxious about this situation, yeah, because you may have moved quickly with somebody, yeah, it could be with a business mill owner, so um, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, someone who owns a business, yeah, but you could have been looking for advice from the wrong people about this person, and now it's time for you to end things and detach from the situation, all right? So that is if you are dealing with a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or a Venus sign. I feel like this is a karmic partner. This play, this person could have been doing spell work on you. This person is definitely a karmic, all right? A past life karmic partner. All righty, and that could be why you were experiencing some fear uh, 
you know, maybe you feel like your person's too dependent on you or you're too dependent on somebody, but it's because there's a secret enemy, probably this Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign that's trying to have you all in your feels about this or afraid about a new connection. Yep. Earth. You're feeling stuck because of an Earth sign here. All right. Somebody who has passion for you. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So probably a Taurus. Yeah, I feel like you are mastering your emotions, though, in this situation. You're learning to master your emotions and not just act impulsively off of desire. Yeah, some of you guys may have to, uh, some of you guys' fire uh, died for this person. All right, you may have had to release a fire sign. Um, Leo, Aries, Sag. All right, but I feel like this person, you may have to release a fire sign. And you have to may have to release passion between you and this earth sign so that you can uh, have a reunion, all right, with, the, with your twin. Yeah. Because I feel like you are, you're not getting your wealth because you're accepting non-committal energy still. Um, yeah, somebody needed to release a child or you may have lost a child. My condolences to you. And that could have caused some confusion here too. All right. Uh, yeah, somebody may have had to let go of a, uh, of a marriage in order to build a business. Yep. All right. So, but I do feel like you are going to have complete happiness here. You are mastering your emotions, but you are learning what is a non-committal offer and what is stable. All right. And I feel like you are realizing, yeah, you may feel like you're trapped, but you are gaining stability. Okay. So yeah, but you may, this person may try to return to you, but it's time to let this um, and yeah, cause they're just seeking attention cause they, they see that you give them positive attention. Um, you may have been an overgiver, you may have been loving and stuff like that, but this person secretly, you know, has been doing magic or some shit. Yeah. This person could have had you lose a child or something. I don't know. I don't know. Damn. Yeah. You have a, a connection, a soul connection with this person, but it's not from source. It's from the, it's from the, it's from the. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but anywho, let's see. Yeah. Yep, your earth angel is trying to, there's an a angel, or you're an earth angel, or a, there's an a angel trying to reach out to you and tell you that it is the end of a spiritual battle on earth. All right? You are a healer. You're a shaman. It's time for you to move forward. You're being promoted. You may have planted things in the past that didn't grow, but now you will. Now, um, with this past person, but I feel like now you will, um, uh... Trust yourself. You're going to trust yourself now, basically. So keep trusting yourself. Keep doing your thing. Don't let this person come back around just because they see you stable now. All right? Check up the deuces. All right, later, guys.